Today on Hot Tough Beer Review, we are at Brock's Cap Brewing Company in Hoover, Alabama. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today, you can see we are out of the box. We are out of the attic. We are here in Hoover, Alabama at Brock's Cap Brewing Company to try a flight of beer and let you guys know what we think about this today. So, gentlemen, great to see you not behind the screen. It's nice to be uh, out of the attic. Nice to be out of the attic. I'm sure it was getting hot up there this time of year. Oh, um, heat in the summer. I mean, yeah, in the south. In Mississippi. Yeah. Uh, so, but no, we have traveled over to Hoover, Alabama. Uh, even found this guy somewhere oh. on the side of the road, riding along. And we are here to try some beer from Brock's, Brock's Gap Brewing Company. It's a lot for me to say. Uh, we've got a flight in front of us and uh, definitely excited to give some of these beers a try. So Andy, real quick, what can you tell us about Brock's Gap Brewing before we dive out a little bit? Brock's Gap originated during the pandemic. And the name comes from a natural pass that was created through Shades Mountain in the region um, that was necessary to transport the coal and iron. Um, it's, uh, if people don't know, the Birmingham area is uh, known for its iron industry. And in 1871, Brock's Gap Pass was finished and Birmingham was chartered a month later. So, cool uh, history. Yeah. Yeah. First beer. Let's get All right. Into it. So yeah, we're gonna change the format a little bit on this one, guys. I mean, yeah. just run through, have a couple sips, and yeah. rate these beers. Yeah. So we're excited about it. All right. What are we trying first? The Rock and Roll All Night um, Light Lager, or excuse me, Rock and Roll All Light Lager. Pardon right. me. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. The Light first Lager. Time, Cheers, mates. Uh, we actually get to do this live, uh, so. So we got a 4.2 alcohol by volume, 13 IBUs. Tastes American like a light, light lager. Very clean, refreshing, crisp. This is one of their core beers, sold year round. Um, it uses the Hercules uh, hops as well as the, uh, uh, what is that, the uh, Man Mandarina Bavaria hops. I've never heard of it. We haven't had one with that yet. Rolls We've off had the, the Hercules, yeah. Rolls off the top. Yeah. I didn't check my notes there. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good beer. So, all right. Andy, what do you think? It tastes like a lager. It's a light lager, but it's got a hell of a lot more flavor than your macro lagers. Yeah, on the back uh, end. It's really good. Yeah. It is clean, what you expect from a lager. Um, real crisp finish. Um, In terms of how I would want a lager and a light lager, this is up there. I'm going to give it an 8.0 on light lager standards. So this is good, better than better than that stuff you can get when you're in college. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll roll next. Um, I think that I don't know. Uh, this one's I feel a little different than you do. This one maybe it's that that other hop that that we maybe haven't. That, that rolls off the tongue. Yeah, that one. Uh, you know, that leaves me with just a little bit of an odd taste from my palate. Um, I'm going to knock this one, Ooh. and then I'm actually going to take you anywhere. <laughs> give this one. I'm going to give this one a six. Uh, wow. I think it's. I think it's good, but okay. Wow. Jake. Well, I, I agree with Andy. I like it. You know, there, there's a lot to me that can be said for a fresh draft beer. Uh, you know, some of the ones that we, we rate over time, they they sit in cans for a little while, bottles. When you have something that comes straight, straight off the tap, right out of the brewery, uh, it makes a big difference to me. Uh, and I can see your side of it. I'm kind of in between, so I, I go with the seven on this. Okay. So, All right. Good deal. Right. That's a 7.0. For the rock and roll all light American lager. You taking my job now? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all didn't see how many intros we had to take. That's <laughs> true. All right. Next on the list, we've got the misbehaving mango sour. Uh, this is a 4.6 ABV, 
and nine IBUs. So, uh, Andy, did we have any additional information about this particular beer? I can add something. You mispronounce it. It's misbehaven. Oh, well, I'm going to try it. So, yeah. I'm going to misbehave myself. All right. Well, cheers, mates. Uh, cheers, mates. As you skip ahead. Cheers, mates. Again. Uh, we don't get to do this over. I know. Like I said, I'm misbehaving. It's wow. kind of like bittersweet, right? Ding. This is definitely. <laughs> it's got that. I mean, you can smell the uh, not only the fruit but the sour. Uh, yeah, the fermentation. You can. Yeah. Definitely. It's not as uh, tart though. I mean, it's, yeah, it's definitely more sour than tart. Yeah. yeah. It's um. You can feel that mango coming through too. The, is that the mango that's that kind of? Ooh, it's like an acidic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely very acidic. All right, so we're going to flip around. Let me go first. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Turn it on its head and flip it. Go ahead. What you got? Uh, I really like it. Um, I think it's really? uh, it's got a good mango flavor. I know it's got that little acidic fermentation on the back, but you know, I, I think this is probably a seven and a half for me. Okay. You know, not it's bad not for a sour for you. No, not sour. Bad. I mean, yeah. a seven it's, and it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. So, um, rolling right along here this way, uh, I think that acidic, that kind of different taste in there is not what I always look for for sour. So, for me, it's not a sour that I enjoy like the others that I enjoy, uh, if I can. Um, so for me, if you will. I'm, I'm going to give it a six. You're consistent. So far. <laughs> yeah, I, at, on my first taste, I mean, I'm an every beer kind of guy. And um, knowing what we've both had in sours, what we've had in IPAs, I actually was surprised that you rated it higher, but I figured you were not going to rate this as high yeah. because of that acidity. Um, I, uh, you know, each with each sip, <laughs> I get like a different tone to it. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm going to go six and a half. Uh, at first I was like, oh, it's a little too, too much. And then the more I take in, uh, it's coming out very good. So six and a half, I'll drink it again. All right. So that gives us a 6.6 .6 for uh, the misbehaving. 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 Yes. Sour. Uh, mango sour. Uh, so. See, yeah, I love mangoes though. I mean, yeah. yeah. And that if, definitely. If they, if they do it right, a, a good mango fusion beer type. Oh, well, look what it did. Mangoes did for Costanza. You know, <laughs> it got it moving. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but I could another see. Another Seinfeld recipe. <laughs> ding. We should do that. I could see where if you really like mangoes, you'd really like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, mangoes and guava. You know, I've had a couple of IPAs where they've done mangoes or guava and it cuts that bitterness. Right. You'd like those as well on the IPA side. Yeah. All right, folks, we're going to move on. Uh, we're excited about the next one, or I am. It's the uh, Pale Engineer Hazy Pale Ale. They, they kind of classify it both ways, either a pale ale or a, a light IPA, if you will. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. It's a 5.2 ABV and 24 IBUs. Cheers, mates. I feel like we're doing shots here. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. <laughs> <laughs> so this is their signature beer, as we mentioned earlier on the intro. The uh, Brock's Gap the path. But, uh, the natural pass through the mountain had to be made to run a rail line engineer referring to a railway engineer and so it's a core beer year round this is what they uh, they're known for their flagship their, their signature all right Ben and your love of IPAs yeah Andy you got more yeah I do. more to give come on I'm gonna give it all we gotta get all the nerd out <laughs> yeah. uh, it's got three types of hops uh, it's got galaxy it's got the Lopamax mosaic and the uh, or excuse me Lopamax mosaic and Lopamax citra for those who keep up with the hops yeah those are a couple of unique ones that we've only we had have not had the Lopamax yeah. in tag with the citra and the mosaic in the I mean, we've had yeah. citra and mosaic but and, and the galaxy them. those are yeah pretty the galaxy common. We've had, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'm, if that's it for the nerd out section, for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know I think this is 
it's, it's interesting because again, it's LL. 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 It's right on that edge. It Light is, hazy I IPA. can see why they label yeah. it as a hazy pale ale slash IPA. It's easy drinking because yeah. it is yeah. teetering one way or another. That's a day drinker. But you take one sip and you can see where it would go this way. You yep. take one sip, you can see where it would go the other. I think I like that. I think that's interesting. It's something a little bit different, you know, than, than the normal everyday one or the other. Um, so for that, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Wow, that's awesome. Um, you want to jump in there, Andy? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna uh, um, me. I don't, you know, I don't go both ways so much easy like that. Uh, I want my beer to be one way or another, <laughs> and um, it's gonna I bet you're flavor. a rule follower, aren't you? By the book. Um, <laughs> I don't like to be all. confused when oh, I, I when I put something in my mouth. I don't want to be confused. You know? <laughs> so anyway, um, it does. You can taste the haze, which I appreciate because I like a hazy or juicy IPA. But it's is it a pale or is it an IPA? Which technically they're both. But it's like it tastes like a watered down IPA it to does. me. Um, so that's what I'm getting from it. Good flavor, but watered down. So I'm gonna go six and a half on this one. Yeah, you know, I I struggled with it. The first sip I took, I was like, wow, this just tastes like water, watered down. I mean, it's, it has that front end of a haze, and then it's it's almost like you're drinking a, uh, a hazy Mick Ultra. <laughs> I mean, you know, something that, that doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it. Um, I, I tend to agree with you, Andy. I mean, I, I, I like to go one way or the other on, on these. But I enjoy this one. Yeah. Uh, surprisingly, it could be a good day drinker. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if because it's on draft, maybe that's why it tastes a little more watered down. Uh, if they had it in a can, that might be something different. But um, I'll go probably a seven and a half on this one. Yeah, well, that's a pretty good score for your, you know, IPAs and your pails. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, you know. You know if me, I always a, score higher yeah. too, though. I, if it were a lighter alcohol content, which I don't mind a high alcohol content, but I can consider it a session ale or something you could drink all day because I mean, it's got that refreshing But this is to sitting it. at 5.2. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's got to be below 5 to me. Yeah. So that, it, I'm going to hit several in, uh, Yeah, maybe in a 4.8, something like that, yeah. but it's right on the edge. But, um, yeah, it's still... Uh, it's like... I might go for the lager versus that one if I was going to be like, I'm going to, you know, hit a few in an afternoon session. Yeah. So. I mean, this is not something you'd want to drink after a, a run or things like that necessarily. Nah, I mean, really especially good. if you don't run. You don't <laughs> want to yeah. Run. yeah, you know me. I'm a big runner. <laughs> so. Well, that gives us a 7.2 uh, for the Pell Engineer Hazy Pale L. Uh, Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Yeah, we didn't do that anymore. All right, the next beer here at Scat Brewing Company is Sacred Battle Irish Red Ale. Um, It was kind of given the name Sacred Battle based on football in the South. Um, On their website, they referenced the local um, Hoover High School and you know, if you uh, don't know anything about the South and football, it is a religion, so hence the sacred battle. So let's uh, let's get in. Let's we'll get talk in. a little bit more. Let's try this. So, uh, this is Irish Red Ale. It's at four and a half percent, twenty IBUs. Cheers, mates. Hmm. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Ooh. And because of the sacred battle name, that's why I punched mine earlier. Wow. Hmm. That's interesting. It's got a little smoke. To it that. is. I know. Smoke, yeah. I like that smoke on the back. They uh, did not mention that. Uh, Definitely uh, there. That's, that's unique. That smoke is, wow. That's the first thing that hits you. Yeah, it is. As you take and, you know, and these made with East Kent Golding uh, hops, but um, nothing on on their uh, their site mentioned anything about a wow. smoke flavor. That's fun. That's, uh, you know, I, I like to drink um, scotch and I like to drink mezcal, so I like the smoke added to it yeah, uh, so, I, I love smoke old fashions yeah, and things like so, that i mean uh, this is it's it's a very unique flavor when you smell it it, it the aroma does yeah. not uh, no it wasn't there it until i tasted out. it yeah. that's fun got a little pop to it mm-hmm. and especially for such a low abv yeah, yeah. you know a 4.5 i mean this is all you know most of these we're trying 
on this flight, they're easy drinking. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, wow. this, this is this is a fun uh, fun afternoon here, uh, definitely right in front of us. And it, it tastes heavier than four and a half percent. It does, yeah. I think that's that smoke though, coming yeah. through for sure. Um, so, Andy, you, you're I feel like you're about to fall off your chair here, uh, taking a back so much. Just so, so pleased. What do you think? It's not from the four and a half percent. I uh, I like it. I'm giving this an eight and a half. Wow. Really nice. good. Uh, you know. If I were going to go just based on the standard Irish red, it's not clicking Anything on like an Irish red. <laughs> if I were to drink this, I would not think an Irish red, but it uh, the smoke really does it for me, and I like that. If, so if you like a smoky taste to your to your drinks and alcohol, you'd like this one. So 8.5. What do you think, Jack? To me, I, I agree with you. I mean, it's it's not a traditional red or an Irish in any form or fashion other than the smoke flavor. I almost think of it as a smoked lager or pale ale in some ways. Um, so, I mean, based on the description, if you want to rate it that way, uh, I don't know. I'd probably go around the seven and a half. It's, it's not something I can sit there and I think drink all day long because of the smoke. Yeah, it doesn't feel but like. it's very unique and I, I would drink it again and I definitely like the uniqueness of it. Yeah, I, I, the, obviously, as you can tell, the smoke is what hits you right off the bat. Um, and as Andy and Jay both said, it's not what you expect from the typical Irish red. Um, but that's okay. The, the smoke mixed with kind of that Irish red expectation produces something I think that's great. So um, I think I'm with Andy on this. I'm eight and a half. I think it's uh, uh, you know really interesting and. You know, a little bit different and you know that's fantastic so, so close you know yeah yeah I mean, I, i'm bringing it down yeah, yeah it's all right <laughs> that's all right so it's yeah. a good beer I, I i really for a first year brewery or you know a brewery that's been only open a year i'm really impressed with their setup uh and apologize we haven't shown you guys some of that but we'll have some pictures out on the, the uh, instagrams and the twitters and facebook's um, they've done some great beers here. Yeah. For maybe MySpace too. Maybe MySpace. MySpace yes. Uh, Friendster. Friendster. Who had a Friendster account? Uh, <laughs> but that gives us an 8.2 for the Sacred Battle Irish Red Ale here at Brock's Cap Brewing Company. All right. Appreciate you guys joining us. We've been here at Brock's Cap Brewing Company enjoying a flight of beer with friends uh having a great time here at hopped up beer review thanks for watching be sure to like subscribe and cheers that notification bell check us out on social media and hey special shout out and thanks to andy not this andy uh our other friend andy or for, dwight. Dwight, dwight or dwandy or dwandy <laughs> for helping us out uh put this all together uh in this episode and, and also hosting us here because he lives in Birmingham and we don't. And what bank can he get you a high interest account? Or yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Free so, plug? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, for Ben, I'm Andy, in the Attic but out of the Attic, and Jay, I'm Ben. Yeah, did I said 4.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.